I'm going to try to roll up three uh, concepts in one very short movie and move them, move through them as quickly as possible. The first concept is setting up multiple monomes. The second is setting up beat sync, so you can have multiple applications that are in sync with each other. And then the third is setting up open sound control communication between a mo monom application and a software synthesizer. So first concept, setting up multiple monoms. This is actually really easy because it seemed like um, monom serial is designed from the ground up to handle multiple devices. Uh, under the device settings, you can select a device when you have multiple uh, monoms plugged into the same computer. And you can see there's a 256 and a 64. And here's one uh, area where the prefix actually comes in handy. The 64 is set to Gome and the 256 is set to uh, TR-256, which is this um, Roland-style uh, drum pattern sequencer. So that's all set up, and if we go to our applications uh, running in Max, um, Polygome is set up over here, and TR-256 is kind of a mess because I modified it for reasons I'll describe later. So the second thing we want to do is set up beat sync. Um, right now, Polygome is set to internal, and so if I play it, the tempo control obviously makes it faster. If I disconnect this, the clock, then nothing happens. Uh, what we want to do is set it to beat clock, and then it's going to sync to whatever beat clock source you have specified, and the source I have currently specified is something that's coming in via inner application communication bus, and that bus happens to be called to max MSP1. If the clock is off, there we go. So I happen to have the DAW running, so when I press the buttons, it will run. Okay, so both these applications, including TR256, are set to uh, beat clock sync from max MSP1. Now to set that up in your DAW, uh, each DAW is different. Uh, I can't set it in Digital Performer, so I'll throw up a screenshot of, of the dialog box, but you basically you set the output bus to m whatever the bus happens to be called, in this case max MSP1. So why don't we go back to uh, our DAW here, and actually, even though we're not using a DAW, we'll set up a, two, a pattern on the 256. So let's just tap that in right now. I'm going to enable a delay on the snare. You know, one of the things I like to do with drum patterns is uh, throw a little replicant on it. I like the um, Autecker patch a lot preset. I'll set this to uh, mix. The third concept is setting up OSC support. And now it's probably a good time to tell you that all the sound sources you're hearing right now are coming from five instantiations of the circle synth from Future Audio Workshop. And the reason I'm using this is because circle has OSC support. So each drum sound is a separate circle instantiation, and this is why I have this modified max patch in the background to accommodate this. So what I want to do now is set up OSC support so the tilt on the 64 can control something interesting on the circle synth. So the patch we have set up is, is something called distorted mouth. And I'm going to mute the drums here for a moment. Get the right thing. Add some bass too. Anyway, okay. So how to set this up? Well, there's this control tab in Future Audio, Audio Workshop Circle. If we click that, then you see the OSC port is 5123. 
if we go to Polygome, we can set the oscillator, the OSC port oscillator, what am I saying? 51, 23, and I hit OK. Then I need to define the parameters that I'm going to control with OSC. And I want to do this mouth filter parameter. And if I click it, then it OS, the, I get the OSC address over here. So I just type that in. I'm going to enable OSC support on that tilt axis and then type in the message address. Mouth filter one slash shape fader. And then I'll do the same thing for another parameter, like uh, the wavetable mix here. And so I click that and it displays over here. We type that in slash wavetable oscill one slash table fader. Now at this point you're probably thinking, Strata, what why would I go through all this trouble? I mean that seems like a real hassle. Um, the main reason is that MIDI is an ancient protocol with limited resolution. And so the immediate benefit is a lack of stepping when you have some continuously modified parameters. I mean it's 2008 right now and you know we have access to better protocols and the reason I'm, I want to mention this is because the more people who are aware of OSC support the more people demand it and we'll see more OSC support and more products and that's something that everyone can benefit from so uh, now that I've done that let's keep our fingers crossed and when I tilt this ah, nothing happens the reason nothing's happening because I haven't hit the connect button now it's connected Okay, so I've got the mouth filter running on one axis, but the this is not running, the wavetable. So I probably typed that in incorrectly. Wavetable OS, oh, case sensitive. Ta-da! All right. So now let's hear what that sounds like. So there you have it, setting up multiple monoms, uh, beat sync, and OSC support, and all running on the same computer. Not to mention, uh, this same computer is running five instantiations of circle synth, and doing a voiceover recording, and a full screen screen capture. So that'll do it for now, and I'm going to give my computer a well-deserved break. <laughs>